New Yorker sees uniformed NYPD officers on the streets of our city each day. And that, though, is only the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more officers do to keep us safe, including screening incoming ships for potential hazards. Hazards like radioactive material that could be used to make a dirty bomb. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo got an up-close look. To the naked eye, this might look like any old police boat. It certainly feels like one. Uh, 650 miles of shoreline in New York City. But when patrolling the New York Harbor and protecting liberty and freedom, what you can't see is most important. So this boat here is equipped with sensors on both sides of the boat, uh, radiation sensors. Built-in sensors that alert NYPD counterterrorism to radioactive materials that could be snuck in through the harbor. We have four cargo ports that get daily shipments of all types of materials. We toured one of three police boats that scan container ships for materials used to make a dirty bomb the first line of defense against another terror attack. We've seen in the past terrorist groups have been trying to get their hands on nuclear weapons or components to make a dirty bomb, which could cause extreme devastation for the city. From sonar on deck. Basically what this does is gives us our underwater view. To the sensors inside, the technology is key in preventing terrorists from using traditional explosives to spread radiation. But the officers on top of a boat like this add an extra layer of defense, doing something that even those detectors can. Our team would look every morning at the ships coming in. Where are they coming from? Are they coming from a conflict region? And those ships would get extra scrutiny. It's just another day in the office for the only local law enforcement maritime unit fully dedicated to counterterrorism. We hear every day. So the people of New York don't have to worry about this as much as we do.